Sargodha police arrested 44 people after a mob targeted a Christian man and families over alleged Quran desecration in Mujahid colony, triggered by nearby burned pages. Pakistan urged Afghanistan to arrest Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan leaders, including Chief Noor Wali Masood, for their involvement in recent attacks, including a suicide bombing in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, to preserve bilateral relations, stated Interior Minister Muhsin Nakhvi. An army captain and a soldier were martyred, and five terrorists killed during an intelligence-based operation in Peshawar's Hassan Khail area, with ongoing efforts to clear the zone, reported ISPR. PTI Punjab President Yasmin Rashid, hospitalized after falling ill in jail, was discharged from Lahore Services Hospital amid alleged police pressure, despite her ongoing year-long imprisonment over the May 9th incidents. Amid a severe heat wave, Moinjo and Larkana hit Pakistan's highest temperatures at 53 degrees Celsius, with the scorching weather set to continue across Sindh and Punjab, including Karachi, which expects temperatures over 40 degrees Celsius this week. Kuwait's Emir Sheikh Mishal and Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim accepted invitations to visit Pakistan following meetings in Islamabad with their respective ambassadors. The U.S. is poised to lift its ban on selling offensive weapons to Saudi Arabia, with indications the ban could end in the upcoming weeks, according to the Financial Times. Israeli fighter jets targeted northern Gaza, hitting a weapons cache in a school during intense clashes in Jabalia, where an airstrike reportedly killed 10 and injured others. Saudi Arabia's foreign minister emphasized the necessity of maintaining the two-state solution for the Israel-Palestinian conflict, advocating for its benefits to all parties and calling for a ceasefire and hostage release in Gaza during a Brussels news conference. The Chinese delegation will actively address global health governance at the 77th World Health Assembly in Geneva, emphasizing their proactive contributions and shared experiences as stated by Deputy Director Gao Zhutao. Russian President Vladimir Putin arrived in Uzbekistan for a two-day visit, where he was welcomed by the Uzbeki president and participated in a wreath-laying ceremony at the Independence Monument. Cyclone Rimmel hit Bangladesh's coast, driving nearly a million to seek refuge as it brought winds up to 90 km per hour, expected to intensify to 130 km per hour while authorities have issued the highest danger alert with the storm impacting India as well. Renowned Pakistani actor Talat Hussain died at 83 in Karachi after a long illness, leaving behind a legacy celebrated in tributes from journalists and actors nationwide. Charles Leclerc became the first local to win the Monaco Grand Prix since 1931 marking his inaugural podium finish in Monaco after starting from pole in a collision-marred race, while McLaren's Oscar Piastri and Ferrari's Carlos Sainz finished second and third respectively.